we need to send a strong message, mate. I'll try. some of the mutants taken by the purifiers. Forge is trying to break them loose. I told him you might be dropping by. I'm on my way. open? No. There are mutants in here. I'm not sure how many. The lock's wired to a bomb and there's some sort of interference wave that keeps affecting all my tech. Of course, it doesn't help that I have to keep watching my back the whole time. That I can do. Keep them off me! taken by the purifiers near as we can tell yes they were left here to be transferred onto a truck or a freight train no telling where they would have been taken to after that have you hacked into purifier equipment before many times this was different more sophisticated than i've ever seen they've got a new supplier obviously i heard about this interference wave earlier what do you think it is i have no idea but i've seen it a lot lately a cyclical pattern of heavy static on electronic systems across the city. It arrived about the same time as the MRD. Are you a mutant, like me? Yes, I am. My powers relate to machines. I sort of have a feel for them, for what they can do. If you can think it up, odds are I can make it for you. Is there anything else I can do to help? Frankly, yes. The detonation signal for that bomb was sent from a long way off, but it was routed locally. Somewhere up over our heads, there's a router or signal tower of some kind. If you can find it and shut it down, we won't have to worry about any other bombs or devices responding to that signal. I'm on my way. Good luck. Ha! <laughs> 
Hey, you, what are you doing up here? Stand down. Does this look like a purifier attack team? I'm sorry. After everything that has happened, my troops are a little hair trigger. <laughs> it still makes me laugh when he says that. You were the man on the stage at the rally. I am Luis Reyes, head of the MRD. That means I am responsible for trying to restore order here. I don't know, it's something about that word hair trigger. It's just it's so funny. <laughs> Why are you not sending your men after the purifiers? There are elements on both sides who are pushing us towards chaos. Only a neutral party can salvage this and find a way to peace. They're saying it was Magneto who broke up the rally. I'm afraid there is no room for doubt. Magneto is a terrorist. Who else would stand to gain if humans and mutants go to war? So you believe that this attack was meant to start a war? That would be my guess, yes. And it seems to be working. With a little help from the purifiers. It's only a theory. We are still investigating. You are mutant? But uh, I do not know you. Nobody does. I only just arrived. Good luck. Yes, and you. Forgive me. Magneto, why did you do this? Can't you see we're only trying to keep the peace? Indeed. And how is that working out for you, Mr. Reyes? Do you want to declare war on humankind? Where do you think it will end? I assure you, if I had been behind that attack, I would have been a lot less sloppy. And if I decide to wage war, it will end with extinction. For your species, or for mine. Don't be a fool! The MRD are here to protect you. All of you! Oh yes, I know your resume, Mr. Reyes. Your meteoric rise. But I don't see you as a savior. More of a voyeur. Your orbital satellite peering down at us all. Your obsession with other people's business. Do not let your people suffer for a personal crusade. Look after your own, and understand this. I want your so-called peacekeepers out of this area. As of now, it belongs to Homo sapiens superior, to mutants. You leave me no choice. I will have you arrested for terrorism. <laughs> I cordially invite you to try. The MRD certainly isn't doing much in the way of peacekeeping. I saw Magneto. He was arguing with Reyes. He said the city belongs to mutants now. We'll need you to help us get to the bottom of all this. Right now we have to protect innocent mutants from the purifiers. I think it's time we make Cyclops. We'll be waiting for you on Market Street. I'll be there. showed during the attack on the rally. We might be able to help you with that if you're interested. Helping mutants come to terms with their powers is what the X-Men do. You should know that the Brotherhood is assembling its forces. Here. Arigato. But if this is a war, I think I prefer to fight without restraints. Without hesitation. 
It's your choice, but the door is open. You're about to step into the thick of things. You should choose who you're going to fight with. What difference does it make? If you have to ask, you're probably incapable of understanding the answer. The Brotherhood will prevail. When you have a singular purpose and conviction, defeat is impossible. But the weak defeat themselves before the battle even begins. Who are you calling weak? I don't understand you. You have to heat a knife to make it cut. I am that knife. And my super speed is the furnace that keeps me sharp. I could swear I've seen you in pictures all friendly with the X-Men. Yeah, I may have dabbled with Xavier's crew in the past, but look where that got Xavier. The purifiers have been abducting mutants. Yes, they'll pay for that. And our task is to make the price as high as we can. How can I help? The purifiers are coming in from all over. The biggest flashpoint seems to be the bridge. I want to help in any way I can. I'm happy to hear it. The purifiers are surrounding the area. I know. We're going to act as a buffer force along with the MRD. A buffer force? The most important thing is to save lives. You see that, right? Do you think mutants started all of this? Jury's still out. Magneto's powers, and those of the Brotherhood, could explain what happened at the rally. But I'll talk to Magneto himself before I jump to any conclusions. I'm still trying to understand all of this. These things I can do. Until a couple of hours ago, I thought I was normal. Look, I know this is traumatic, but it doesn't have to be something you work out by yourself. Think about it. Thanks. I will. Brotherhood mutants will be there too. It isn't for me to tell you what to do, but... Before you act, think about what's at stake here. Don't do anything you'll be sorry for later. Good, follow me! Not what I'm looking for, but... As I say, if you choose the X-Men side, Pixie doesn't disappear. Big Pixie's standing right there, and you can talk to her as uh, I... I'm going to just call her Amy. You can talk to her as Amy, but that's only if you choose the X-Men side. You see, I chose the Brotherhood side, so she kind of teleported somewhere.
Our allies need more muty material to work with. If these vermin stop the copters, you'll be weeping blood. Yes, Commander Hodge. <laughs> Hodge is too much for you. I feel good. I can take him. type ability tentacles of shadow will grab surrounding enemies pull them towards you and then launch them into the air uh, edge storm uh, area type ability unleashing your ethereal blades in a cyclone you can slice enemies by pulling them into your vortex now last time on the x-men side i chose edge storm uh, edge storm is a really good ability and i do recommend it but we're gonna go with shadow grasp Such tricks these animals can learn to do. You'd swear they were almost human. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't have time to ask your preferred destination. Why are we here? Let's not lose sight of things. This is a crisis that faces us. We know that mutants have been taken by the purifiers, but we do not know where. Okay, I get it. The barricades they threw up were blocking mutant access to Chinatown. You think they've brought their prisoners someplace here? Yeah, Lefty. We must find Gambit, Remy LeBeau. Nothing happens here without him knowing about it. So much has happened in just a few days. I was so scared and lost when my father left me on that boat. We all need to find our place, I mean. Everyone wants to know how they fit into the world. But this isn't even my world. My place. You would rather go home? Back to Japan? I... I don't know. That was... He was bigger than life. Magneto has been quiet for some time. People were beginning to think that he was dead. He has made his line in the sand. He'll likely punish any human who crosses it. 
Why did he do that? Was he trying to remind people how powerful he is? Magneto will never believe humans and mutants can coexist. For him, this is just a case of the survival of the fittest. And guess who gets to choose the fittest? Thank you for pulling me out of there. I, I could have been dead. You are most welcome. But you should think twice before playing with Mr. Hodge again. He can be a little rough. <sighs> Uh, nope.